Life is short, and being in radio can grind it to a halt. Influence FM is for running your stations at your convenience, when you want, where you want. With Influence FM, you can now do the impossible. Enjoy your life, all the while knowing that Influence FM will notify you instantly about any anomalies. And with the flick of a thumb, you can see that your station's assets and operations are running at full speed. Go ahead, take that vacation. We dare you. We sell freedom, not software. Free yourself to do, well, precisely what you want. Good morning. We're going to be spending about the next 15 days together if everything goes well. This is the Crawl, Walk, Run series, where in 15 days of us working together, about 15 minutes a day, I'm going to make you successful in radio sales right out of the box. Now, as you see, this comes in three parts. Part one is crawl. We're going to walk along the ground a little bit, pick up crumbs here and there, and we're going to get a little scuffed up. Week number two is called walk. At this point, we are getting into the basics of how everything goes together and actually getting our feet a little bit wet. Week three is really not so much about training, but fine tuning. Yeah, by the end of 15 days, you are already going to have made your first sale. Now, let's talk about what you've gotten into. Nothing happens until something sells. Would you pretty much agree with that? You're selling every minute of the day. If you have children, you know this. If you have a boss, if you have a spouse, you are always selling to get something done. But the thing about it is this, you gotta be able to sell things that you know. You have to be able to walk in and say, I got a handle on this. So, first of all, you need to know what it is you're selling. The second thing you need to know is what it can do but also what it cannot do. Because you're not in this to make one sale, you're in this to make multiple sales over the course of years. So know what you can do and what you can't do. Then you have to know who everybody you compete with is. And the competition is, is in every form. It's people who, in your case, are taking advertising money, which may be called promotional money or something else, but it's money that could be spent with you. And then you need to know what they can do and what you can do, what they can't do, and what you can't do. There's quite a bit to this. First of all, let's talk about you and let's talk about your routines. I want to talk to you about how you start your day. By the time you get into the radio station, your day should be well underway. What are you doing at 6 o'clock in the morning? Some of you are going to say I'm sleeping. Not anymore. What are you doing at 7 o'clock in the morning? I'm going to give you a hint. Education time and practice. You want to read. You want to be up to the second on the news. And you want to be practicing everything that you need to use over and over again. And this takes discipline. All right. You need to know everything about defining your training routine. Um, you need to set aside time to study your product, to study your competitors, to look out there at your prospects and customers and see what's going on with them. But here's the most important one, the last one. How are you going to test and evaluate your skills? Do you have a sparring partner? Somebody that you can work with that keeps you sharp. All right, planning. Networking. Everything we do is networking. Every time you meet somebody on the street, you're networking. What's your shirt say? Do you have a logo sitting on it? Do you know how to hand out a business card? Do you know how to network? That's just not walking up to somebody and saying, hi, my name's Chris, uh, I sell radio ads. And do you have a plan? And then, with every plan, how do you evaluate? Well, one way you can evaluate is with your checkbook. But the problem is, by the time you're evaluating with your checkbook, you're already six weeks down the line of failure. So we're going to talk about planning the network. Now, you see what I put up here. If it is to be, it is up to me. And it could not be more true. First of all, it's not up to the radio station. The radio station provides a product. They've got the music out there. They've got the entertainment. They've got an audience. That's their job. It's your job to go beyond that. And worrying, worrying, is, it, it, worrying has never solved anything. It's not productive in any way. I mean, all you're doing is backing yourself into a corner. The way to stop worrying is to have knowledge and have a plan. And we'll get into that. We've got 15 days to do this. If you tell me you're not a morning person, this should be your last day of work because you must be a morning person to succeed in this. By the way, most of your retail friends are. Most of them are in the business an hour or two before they ever open the door, so you need to be on their schedule. If you can't get other parts of your life in sync, 
If you're one of these people that constantly has crises that you've got to deal with, I've got a family problem, I got this problem, I got that problem, this isn't going to work for you because you don't need the distractions. And then it comes down to attitude. What is your attitude? And can you keep your attitude positive so that it rubs off on others, even in a negative world, which means stop watching the news. Now, really, it is how you look. It is how you speak. It's your mannerisms. It's your vocabulary. Does everything about you inspire confidence? The next thing is not being an elitist. Every single person out there, everybody you met today, the woman who served you coffee, the guy who washes your car, everybody knows something that you don't know. You're not special. And by the way, let's talk about this person right here. How do you know this isn't really the boss filling in for somebody else? Or maybe this is the boss's daughter or the boss's girlfriend. And now how are you going to treat this person? See, everybody has some place in there. And what if this person two years from now advances to be the boss and this was the person that you decided to treat badly for some reason? Fear. <laughs> you got to learn to trust people and trust yourself. Here's a picture of a guy learning how to fly an airplane. Look at that panel on that airplane. What do all those little things mean? Doesn't that look scary? Well, it's not once you learn what every single one of them mean. Fear comes from lack of knowledge. If you're afraid of flying, it's only because you don't understand it. I am a pilot. I can tell you. There is no reason to fear flight. But until you have trust in others, you won't know that. And then let's go back to my earlier years when I was a Boy Scout. What was, there's the motto right there on the first class badge. Be prepared. So here's the question on preparation. Do you have the tools? Now, it's great to have a hammer, but if you don't know how to use a hammer, what good is it? And do you have a plan for anything that can come your way? Corporation buys out the store. The wife takes over the store. You get there and they're in a bad mood. Do you have a plan for everything? Well, the next thing is being honest. And I'm not talking about honest with other people. I'm talking about being honest with yourself. Are you able to say, do I have the right attitude? And do I have the right attitude right now? Do I have the right attitude later? What am I going to do if my attitude gets out of adjustment? What's my plan to improve myself? I've been at this 35 years, and I'm going to tell you, the biggest thing that I have going for me is I'm constantly trying to educate myself to get one more step ahead so that nothing comes as a surprise. Are you willing to commit the time needed? Now, these meetings are only about 15 minutes a day, some a little longer, some a little shorter, like today's. Every meeting has a certain amount of time, but there's homework. But the homework doesn't end at the end of day 15. The most successful salespeople I know are constantly working on their education, constantly learning. And then this one. Can I be truthful with myself? Think about that for a second. Can I be truthful with myself? Can I look in the mirror and say, I know exactly what I see? It's easy to BS everybody else in your life, but you can't BS yourself very easily if you don't let yourself. Honesty is going to play a big part in your training. Now, tomorrow, we're going to talk about figuring out who to sell and evaluating potential customers. See, it's not enough to say, well, I know Bob over here and I know Pete over there. These may not be your best prospects. We're going to talk about what goes into finding the right prospects how to approach them and whatnot, but don't let that worry you yet. Let's talk about tonight's homework. Number one, find out who is the station's best customer. Now, usually when I say this, somebody says, well, how do I do that? I'm not going to tell you. You are hired because some people think you have a little bit of knowledge. So let's see where you go with it. Number two, find out why they are the best customer for the radio stations right now. Number three, make a list of everybody who competes with them. Now remember, think globally. If there's something online that competes with them, that's a competitor too, just because they're not in the market. Or are they in the market? See, if they're, on the, if they're on the internet, they're on my cell phone, and my cell phone's with me all the time. So think about that, all their competitors. What is their competitive advantage? What do they have over all of these other competitors? What will they do that their competitors can't or won't. Let me repeat that. What will they do that their competitors can't or won't? And then write down each of the competitors and their competitive advantage. And now I want you to write this down. This one's going to be tough. A little introspection here. 
What is your competitive advantage? What do you bring to the table? Part two of your homework. I want you to find the following people in the radio station and ask them what they do and take notes. The general manager, the sales manager, the traffic director, bookkeeper, program director, or station manager, the engineer. And then I want you to find the radio station's public file. Find the radio station's public file because tomorrow you're going to be asked where it is. Now, you've got test number one at influence.fm under the training tab as well as in your workbook. Turn that into your sales manager before tomorrow morning's training. My name's Chris Rolando. I'll see you for day two. Life is short, and being in radio can grind it to a halt. Influence FM is for running your stations at your convenience, when you want, where you want. With Influence FM, you can now do the impossible. Enjoy your life, all the while knowing that Influence FM will notify you instantly about any anomalies. And with the flick of a thumb, you can see that your station's assets and operations are running at full speed. Go ahead, take that vacation. We dare you. We sell freedom, not software. Free yourself to do, well, precisely what you want.